Hello everybody, welcome back. Demon God Dracos back again. I'm restarting my entire channel, by the way. I'm only gonna be two videos a week. That's gonna be but all the videos are gonna be higher quality, hopefully, and also more me having fun rather than what I was doing. I also spray myself. So hopefully we won't be going on any long hiatus. Hopefully. That's the goal. <laughs> Without further ado, start a new game. Again. Again, old channel restarted. So old videos will still be up, but new videos will be coming out. In. So, you know, hopefully it all works. I hope. Quiet, well, the intro. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead, they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darks. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the Deep Roads, the Darkspawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. Women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Warden sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. This is by far the best, like, intro I've seen for a game, in one of my opinions. One of the best. Um, so we are going to be creating a character who is my, essentially, right hand or left hand in the series of my universe. Its name is Doran. He is literally created in the Xenoverse timelines, which you'll see when I close one. But this timeline, he will definitely be a human warrior. There's only uh, origin for that one. Also, I have a Twitch, which is actually able to be found in the description of my YouTube channel. I'll also be archiving streams there as well. I'm going to branch out into several other aspects eventually. 
also just be as a note, we do have a Discord server, which I will try to put a link to in the description of this video, so that if you want to join in on action, maybe find a few other uh, streamers or YouTubers, you can do that too. So we're going to start creating the character here. I like section. I'm going to get rid of this. So we have a base template here to work with. I see. Color. There is no red eyes. I'm closest. Actually, a brown. That's lower the air. Not sure. I don't really. Brow depth. Because that's usually not a good idea in my experiences. Uh, the nose is. Do here. Not sure about this, but. Room for improvement. And I'm also going to bring this mic closer because it seems to have a bit of picking me up at the longer distances. I have to check every. Good. Hopefully, it'll improve over time. With nostril. That's a pretty well sculpted nose, in my humble opinion. <laughs> uh, up. Down a bit. Now, fun part. character a bit hard this game to get that like that job that is Good in my opinion. I know it. Good. I got him. Peaks. Hair. Kinda gives him a rough and rough. I don't like it. It also goes beard, but it does how I'm with it. So yeah, this kind of okay to Hair color, pitch black. 
I kind of like it. I'm not gonna. Kind of like I was envisioning. Not per. Portrait. You look down in the. Action. Supposed to look kind of like the kind of guy that's like I'm a no person, beat me kind. And he obviously charmed, I'm sure. Greetings, greeting, greetings. Actually, change my mind. I'm changing it to experience, and his name is Doran. D O R I N. Now we're just start getting. We need a lot of strength for this character. And we're going with a two hand powerful. Because this actually gives you greater health. I can reduce the penalty for armor that's heavy, which is he's wearing massive armor, the strongest armor in the game. And he's using the strongest weapon, uh, melee weapon, in particular, in the game as well. That's good too. You just got pommels. Gonna play on normal. May turn it down if it gets a bit too difficult at times. Could be fine though. I'm usually pretty good on normal. And I'm gonna shut up because we're about to enter the first little cutscene here. And yes, I already know the armor that I'm For giving. For generations, this. your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of High Ever earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Orlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown, not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. That we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. How? You remember my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, lad. And you, Arl, how? My daughter Delilah asked after you. Perhaps I should bring her next time. I have no interest in an arranged marriage. See what I contend with, Hal? You can't tell my <laughs> fierce boy anything these days, make her bless his heart. Ah, <laughs> temperament to match his fighting skill. Well done, your lordship. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. Not really necessary. This is no needless task. I ask you to take a great responsibility. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away. Yes. There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrion Coulsland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. 
They defeated the Darkspawn long ago. Not permanently, I fear. Without their warning of the Darkspawn rising now, half the nation could have been overrun before we'd had a chance to react. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow Wardens in the South. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. I think I rather like that idea, Father. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? Hmm. Don't strain my abilities or anything. And don't strain my patience. In the meantime, find Fergus and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Are you trying to get rid of me? We must discuss the battle plans <laughs> in the south. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. Okay. Island. Grab. Here, but... Now you guys can't see it because I have my face cam, but there is a little blip that up for like control business. Oh, guard. Greetings, my lord. You are the Terran son, are you not? I am indeed Doran, yes. That is good to know. I understand you shall take charge of your father's castle once we march. That's a little nosy. I apologize. Good evening, my lord. Yes? How long have you and father been friends? We fought together under King Marek when he drove the Orlesians out of Ferelden. Heady times. The years since have not held the same promise. It's not something a youth would understand. It will be good to ride beside your father again. Your daughter is in... The topic has come up hmm. from time to time. The young and their infatuations. I got the impression Violet didn't like me. I'm sure that was years ago. People change. To be honest, I have no expectations. And your father seems determined to let you find your own way. If something did happen, well, we'd address it as befits a family of our stature. Eh, don't hold your breath. Your father's permissiveness has made you willful, indeed. It may not always serve you so well. That's a threat. I know you well, how. <laughs> Poor weather, I believe. Their progress I trust has the been Bolivia. slow, but it's nothing Curious. you need worry about. And also, fun fact, this character does know a lot about this world because Draco's he basically told him a bunch of what he's supposed to do. So just, you know, if I act like I know a bit of stuff, that's why this is the character. He does know a bit because I told him a bit. So just be aware that if I act like I know character seems to know something, that's why. You told my father the delay was your fault. In a manner of speaking. If I had reinforced our border levies earlier, my troops could have left before the rains. I confess, my confidence in your father allowed me some complacency. I guess that makes it as much his fault. I just want to wish you well, Arl. How? I thank you. That is quite unnecessary. Now, you see, when I first played the game, I didn't do the conversation and I also didn't kind of realize that um well that he was acting suspicious now that I look back it's quite clear he was planning something I mean anyone with half a brain would see that but you know life I'm just gonna that because I'm not gonna weapon even I have that from a few ventures.
Okay, well, that's pretty much. Now let's go this way. Now Doran does know how to play the game. He'll pretend to be right. a religious person, but the truth of the matter doesn't believe. Actually, I think he's good at pretending, but he won't because he believes in me. Because he gives him me. Through demon god. Maker, prepare a place for us. Redeem our world from sin. Forgive our transgressions. Maker, forgive us all. Have you come to pray for your brother and father? I'd be happy to ask for the Maker's blessings with you. I'll give you the only real god you need. In the third game, or fourth. I know there's a fourth. Can't wait for that. Let's see here. I don't see the point. I would think a man who desires to spend his life on the battlefield would show more humility. I've told you or I don't believe in the Maker. I prayed that the danger your brother and father face might change your mind. It saddens me that you will walk alone in this world and the hereafter by your choice of blindness. But I will bother you no further. I must yet administer to soldiers who will appreciate it. Excuse me. I'm sorry, child, but I must attend the spiritual needs of those who <laughs> Oh, uh, that's the first time I've actually seen that interaction, and it is actually hilarious. Also, in one of the games, one of the characters, it's that there is a maker. There is no golden city, but there are demons. You'll see that, actually, if, uh, if you keep. <laughs> oh, my lord, we were just, uh... Ignoring your duties? Well, uh, well, the treasury's safe. I'm not even sure why the turn stationed us here. Do you always question your duties? No, my lord, of course not. Then perhaps you'd better get back to work. Yes, my lord. Thank you, my lord. Yeah, Doran is a person who appreciates discipline. Such things in a soldier. As such, he will take that path. There you are. Your mother told me the town had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Hello to you too, Sir Gilmore. Pardon my manners, my lord. It's simply that I've been looking all over the castle for you. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. Ah. And just blown off steam. It's always been like that. Your mother disagrees. She insists you collect the dog, and quickly. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. Stupid dog. He knows better. He never behaves. You're quite lucky to have ah. your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just mm. to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? To the kitchen Just then. The yelling. When Nan's unhappy, she makes sure everyone knows it. Good evening, my lord. Oh. <laughs> As you wish. So much yelling over a dog. Get that bloody mutt out of the larder. But mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves, I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. Maybe you should be put down. What? That monster is in my larder, slobbering all over the bacon, and you're insulting me? Oh dear. Mistress, calm down, please. That's it. I'll quit. Inform the turner. I'll go and cook at some nice estate in the Banorn. Nan, please. Well, get the dog. Calm down. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way. Oh, 
Look at that mess. How did he even get in here? What a smart boy you are. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> oh, encourage the hound, why don't you? No wonder he keeps giving Nan fits. He does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait, did you hear that? Hey, name of dog, we're gonna call him Boar. You know how to f game? like the start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. Yeah. The hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. So my hound put me in danger. Great. You certainly done the castle a favor by rooting them out. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. I wonder if I should do a, a codex uh, reading theory. Let me know if you'd be interested in that in the comments below. Helpful this already. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. Hmm. Actually, he was defending your larder from rats. Big ones. What? Rats? Not the large grey ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will! See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. I took care of it. No need to be afraid. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here then, take these port bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. <laughs> Thank you, my lord. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. Thank you again for your help. Now, if you'll just hold on a moment. Yes? I'm in a... Adney, get moving with those casts. And Kath, do you think you can serve that to the turn with dirt from the floor all over it? Miserable old bat. Old bat, am I? We've got to work double time on supper. Sweep out the hearths and no complaining. <laughs> Is he day? Just keeping order. That's why your father keeps me on. The good maker knows I needn't take care of you anymore. Thank you for coming to your old nanny's rescue. That blasted hound is more trouble than he's worth. He is. <laughs> Don't start with me. You've gotten all you're getting today. But what about you, my lord? Been keeping safe and well behaved, I hope. When it's convenient. To be truly good is doing right by others, even when it doesn't suit you. Do you remember that bedtime tale I used to tell you? The dog that bit? <sighs> I remember it. Good. Then you can start. <laughs> I have to do it. In a dark and murky world, there was a smelly cook. You'd think I hadn't told you this tale a thousand times. <laughs> Before our father's fathers came down from the mountains, a warhound was born to the elder bitch of a tribal chief. They named him Hahaku and gave him everything. He grew up a fine, strong pup, destined to be the partner of the chief's eldest son. And Hahaku grew prideful. The young hound became arrogant, taking food from his kin and warning them, in the way of dogs, that the chief's family would punish them if they tried to attack him. Years passed, and the time for the chief's son to take a warhound came closer. Hahaku's pride swelled, and many of the people of the tribe came to the chief, quietly whispering of this dog's bullying. With each complaint, the chief saw only Hahaku's strength and pride. 
and sent his people away. But as his son grew, the chief watched more closely. The day might come when his boy's life would depend on this dog. If the humblest of his people would not trust Hahaku, how could he? So he made a weaker dog his son's partner. There are many kinds of weakness. You'd do well to remember that. When the day came, Hahaku sat proudly waiting to be called. But the old chief chose Hahaku's brother as his son's hound. Hahaku was shamed, but felt no remorse. So great was his rage that he darted across the fire pit and bit the chief's hand. That was a mistake. The chief and his son struck at Hahaku, cursing him. The hound ran into the village, seeking shelter in the tents and kennels. The other dogs snapped at him, and the tribe's people threw stones at him. Before the chief could reach him, the tribe had torn Hahaku apart. Now, what should you carry from this tale? Hmm. No one is above justice. Precisely. The tribe and their dogs granted the chief and his dogs their authority. When they saw that Hahaku was unworthy, they turned on him. But you're far too old now for an old woman to be reminding you to watch how you behave, hmm? Yes, I am. Be off with you then. Tell your brother farewell before he rides off to war. <laughs> but it is true. Pride is a downfall. Justice delivers all evil. We are born the same. Die the same. That's why I never under. So, like, arrogant. Everyone always seems to think, oh, it won't matter, be a good person. But there's more to being a good person than just being good. The reasoning matters as well. I know some people don't see it that way. They think the reasoning is not important if someone does a good thing. But sometimes the reasoning is just as important, especially if you're looking at things from a viewpoint. Many a people do good things for bad reason. Many a people do bad things for good reason. Reason is important as much as the actual action evening, itself. <sighs> Lessons I've learned in my life. I'm only 22. Lord knows what I'll forget and remember over time. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure people will eventually. We only have to learn ourselves. But that is going to be it for this episode. So with that in mind, like and subscribe. And, you know, enjoy life as best you can. Sticky keys activated. Anyway, as I was saying, like the, like the video, subscribe. Feel free to join the Discord server, and I will see you all in the next video.